Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. I am the host. For those of you who are new, my name is Catherine, and I am here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. Now, today we have part two of a cancer rating. This is cancer versus them. So we have cancer's energy here and we have your person's energy on this side. On part one, we did go over cancer's energy. We are going to be going over your person's energy in this rating. First and foremost, however, if you are new, be sure to click, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you do that, you will automatically be entered in your chance to win. I do a giveaway for all subscribers every month. On the first of the month is when I announce the winners. Everything that I give away is in the description box below. Please make sure to hashtag what you would like to win in the comments. I also do a weekly giveaway where I give away a three question rating. All you have to do in order to be entered in your chance to win is Hashtag win or hashtag free reading every time you see me upload a video in the comments. When I see your name in the comments, I will write it down on a slip of paper and it will go in this bag. Every single time I see it, no matter how many times I see it, your names will all go in this bag and I will choose three names every week on a Monday. So I will upload those videos to the channel. So please check that out. And uh, let me know if you are a winner. Okay, um, I do accept personal readings. Um, please go to my website in order to book your reading with me. The link is below. I also take one question readings for $11.11. The link for that is below. Um, I will be going live taking your questions on this channel. And also please check out my new channel, Tarot Talk Live. I will be going live on that channel as well and taking your questions. Okay, so make sure you do that, guys. All readings are vice versa. However, we are specifically um, going over um, your person's energy in this reading um, on this side. This was your energy, Cancer. If you would like to get a recap of everything we talked about on this person's side, Please go and check out part one of this reading before you go any further, okay? Um, or you can look at your person's energy and then go back to your energy and then look at the end of this reading. So, speaking of things that are developing here in the reverse, there's an energy of things are ending, okay? Things were developing. I feel like this was a connection, uh, a very close connection, or either it was a commitment that you shared with this person. So um, some sort of a soul tie connection. You may have been married to this person, or you may have been involved or like in a situation where you were dating this person or living with this person. I do see it being short term. I do see there being an ending here. Um, like I said, with time and travel, I do see an energy of someone is going to be uh, getting away from this person. There's an energy cancer of you moving far away. Remember I said, I feel like you're going to move away. I feel like you're moving away from this person. Whatever is happening, it's going to be happening within a week. So I feel like things are going to happen very quickly. You have broken branch and heartache. So... I mean, this tree was not, it didn't even look like it was living anyways, like it was an old dead tree. Um, but now the branch has broken off of a dead tree. It's like an energy of being so hurt that things are starting to 
decay or starting to break down, or there's an energy of not having enough to sustain once this person is gone. This house looks very sad. It says heartache here as well. And I'm getting an energy with no, no, no in the reverse. It's like this person was trying to keep you from leaving. They did everything in their power, um, but it was too late. It was like an energy of someone who was in desperation, but no matter how much they kicked and screamed and yelled and pleaded, it didn't work. That's why we have let go of control issues here. Okay. There's an energy of just needing to let this person go, let things unfold naturally because they're not going to be able to stop this person. Okay, so we have hard to please in the reverse and then you are motivating me. Was that in the reverse? I believe that was in the reverse as well. So yeah, you are motivating me in the reverse. Off to a really good start is in the reverse. And then hard to please is in the reverse. With hard to please in the reverse, it's almost just that. It's almost an energy of, you know, there's nothing that doesn't, like, that your person is not, like, easily turned on to. There's also an energy of um, this person is going to try everything in their power to convince you, but you're not falling for it. There's an energy of you not falling for whatever it is this person is saying. <clears throat> and this person is saying no. This person is saying no. They don't want you to go. You are motivating me in the reverse. There's nothing this person can do or say that is going to keep you from going. This person is not off to a really good start here. Okay. Things did not start very, very well or very strong in this connection. Something this person didn't do well in the beginning with control issues and that eight of swords, this person also could have been very controlling. This person could have said something to you or could have told you, you, you know, you can't leave the house or you can't do this. Something this person did where they were very confrontational with you. But you weren't going for it. Do you see what I'm saying? And I do. I feel like this person with that queen of swords on your side here, they tried to stop you from doing something or they tried to control you or even be abusive towards you, cancer. And what we know about a cancer, cancer is not taking no abuse. <laughs> not with that strong queen of swords sitting here, not happening not happening only up to a certain extent right but no not in this case tell me about cancer's person please and i don't mean like taking abuse but being taken advantage of do you know what i'm saying because i'm feeling like that's what this person was doing and they could have been taking advantage of you for your money here because we did see that Queen of Pentacles energy. And we also see that Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles. So they are afraid of losing uh, you because they're afraid of their finances 
uh, taking a hit. This person knows that if you left, that it would not be easy for them. Tell me about Cancer's person. Okay. <laughs> well, that was quick and easy. So we got the devil, like I said, and there it is right here on this side. Okay, showing up here with that five of cups. I'm telling you right now, there's definitely energy of a of fear or being afraid with that king of swords. This is someone being very authoritative or coming in, you know, wanting to speak their truth, wanting people to listen to them, right? Um, with the tower here, this is something that's going to happen all of a sudden. It's going to come out of nowhere. Like this person is not expecting this to happen. And we have Midnight Moth here or a distraction. Okay, so it's interesting. We have 11 and 12 because 2 plus 9 is 11. Okay, and 3 plus 9 is 12 here. So heartache and distraction. And distraction was under the deck. There's something that's going to happen or there's something this person is going to do to try to distract them from what's really hurting them the most. And I feel like what's hurting them the most is that you left them, right? Um, but this person is, you know, they're going to try to um, create some sort of a distraction or um, maybe this person is going to try to, uh, be involved with another third party energy. Okay. Because of this heartache that they're dealing with and they're, they're trying not to think about it anymore or they don't want to feel the pain. There could even be an energy of this person turning to drinking. Okay. Or some form of substance abuse here with the devil here. Do you see what I'm saying? Because of this ending, because you walked out on them all of a sudden, King of Swords and the Tower. There's an energy of someone who comes and goes or someone who comes, you know, there's chaos and then this person leaves. And with the Tower, this was all of a sudden. Okay. And now this person is like, they were addicted to what you could provide. So when you left, this person was all messed up, all types of messed up. Under the deck, we have the Two of Cups, the Empress, and the Six of Pentacles. They're missing you. They're missing you. You provided all of the abundance. All of the abundance was coming from one person, and that was this Empress here in the middle. Okay, not once have I seen the emperor, not once have I seen a king of pentacles, but I saw the empress and I saw the queen of pentacles. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, did we see the king of pentacles at all? No, we have the queen of pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Ten of Wands. So, you know, there's an energy of you, you know, saying no more. No more being taken advantage of. Two of Cups, the Empress, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person was addicted to this connection. They were addicted to having you around because you brought that queen of pentacles energy to the table and you were extremely abundant but things were very one-sided there it was like all give you know what i'm saying or all take it was just it was not even in this connection at all it's not even steven whatsoever so let's see we're going to go up and down and clarify tell me about the devil and the two of cups here I'm going to look at the devil and the two of cups here. Tell me about this devil and this two of cups energy. 
Your person could be a Capricorn. Could be another water sign here. It could be dealing with a fire sign. Tell me about, and look, we have the King of Cups. There's an energy of this person being afraid of losing this connection. The King of Cups talks about being separated. It talks about being devoted to someone. Okay. Um, but still, you're separated from this person. With the hangman, it's an energy of this person is waiting. It's like an energy of this person is unsure of what their future is going to look like if you separate. Hangman is all about uncertainty, not knowing what's going to happen, kind of being stuck in limbo, right? This person is going to be asked out if they lose this connection. Tell me about this King of Swords and the Empress, okay? There's an energy of their abundance coming and going. And they're watching their abundance go out the door. And we have the page of swords. And this is causing this person anxiety. You know what I'm saying? And this is when this person is like begging you at this point. This is someone begging and pleading, asking a lot of questions. They're concerned. They don't know what to do. They're starting to get anxious. Under the deck, eight of cups. You are getting ready to walk out. You are getting ready to walk away. You see what I'm saying? And with the two of pentacles, they're trying to they're trying to mentally process this. You see what I mean? And they're unable to do it. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Tell me about the tower and the six of pentacles. And the strength card. You are going to be doing what's best for you. And I feel like this is you know, going to shock this person. It's going to take them some time to really process this. It is, but you are going to stand up and do what's best for you. You're also holding um, back in some way, or you're being very reserved about things. Six of Pentacles talks about one-sided energy here, or, you know, one person doing all of the talking, the other person doing all of the listening. Three of Wands. So again, I feel like going out the door, you're going to go out with integrity. You're going to go out with pride, okay, with confidence. There's an energy of going out. It's going to be a surprise, this person is not going to see it coming. That strength card, I feel like you're going to keep things to yourself about leaving until it's actually time to go. So now we're going to go to the stage where we look at um, the challenges. What is the challenge that you're going to face as you are walking away from this person? What is the challenge that cancers are going to face as they are walking away from this person? What is it that cancer doesn't see coming? Okay. So we have prison again. We have the eight of swords, remember? We have springtime. The time is the spring. So something happening in the spring. Someone may literally be getting out of jail. Somebody may go to jail and they may be released in the spring. Something that's going to happen. I had the five of ones come up twice. There is going to be some sort of an argument um, there's going to be an argument. There is going to be an argument here. Um, and we have attack. We have attack here. You know, I'm just a little concerned about it. I'm just a little concerned. 
Not overly concerned, but a little. I don't trust this person. Mm hmm. Let's see. Under the deck, well being, addict, and gift. What did I tell you? Well being, addict, and gift. This talks about taking care of yourself and respecting boundaries here. And then we have addict, breaking addictions, rehabilitation, overcoming cravings, and then gift, expression of love. That six of pentacles also talks about a surprise or a gift. So this person, three of wands in the strength card, this person may hold back. There's something this person is holding back. And I think once you do leave, with the tower here and that six of pentacles like this person is going to surprise you with the way that they react to this okay um it's not gonna be a good reaction and it may lead to this person going to jail <laughs> i'm telling you right now so there is an energy of needing to create boundaries here. Um, what is the advice for you? What is the advice? Okay. So we have meddler and looks in the reverse here. Meddler and looks in the reverse. So there's somebody who is... Um, going to be coming in that you're not expecting or someone coming in that shouldn't be coming in somebody who is interfering here okay someone who's in the middle of a situation that they shouldn't be in and with looks in the reverse there's an energy of this person is trying to keep the attention off of them they don't want people looking at them or don't want to be noticed. So I would be watchful for strange people hanging around or if you notice or, you know, just make sure you have like a good alarm system. If you're physically moving away from someone that you don't trust, that you've been in active fights and arguments with. Five of Wands came out twice, by the way. <laughs> came out twice. Um, and I see revenge there with that revenge card here in red. Again, this is a red flag for me. Anytime I see re revenge, I get red flagged because it's not a nice word. Okay. Um, and there's an energy of not wanting to be noticed. Wearing clothes that keep you inconspicuous. Toning down your, you know, features or toning things down about the way you dress so that you don't stand out. Somebody doesn't want to be recognized, but they're all up in the middle of somebody else's business. This could be someone who is also snooping. Someone may try to get access to where you live. Okay, or your home, even scarier. I would keep all of this in mind, y'all. To some of you guys with the control issues that we were seeing, and it was saying your person needs to let go of the control issues, I feel, and we saw the devil twice on both sides. And on this side, it's like someone who's very disappointed. And they were disappointed because you were happy. You were satisfied. You were fulfilled. You were in Nine of Cups energy. And this person had a problem with that. That's when you know you can't trust. Okay? Anytime somebody is insecure about your security, that's a fucking major red flag. Okay? Anytime somebody gets frustrated because you are happy and relaxed and at peace and 
smiling and enjoying life, that's a major red flag. Okay. So there is a meddler. There is someone who is very two-faced, but this person does want to steer you in the wrong direction, but they're also being incognito about it. They're not wanting to be noticed. They're being very inconspicuous about it. I would watch out for that very closely. Okay. So what I'm going to do at this point here is I'm going to take things into an extended. I'm going to pull a few future predictive cards because what we're going to look at in the extended is what is your person thinking? What are they planning? What are they going to do? Okay. We will also look at your energy to see how you will respond. If this person does come towards you, what is the advice for you? What should you do? What should you be doing, if anything at all? All right. And how are things going to end? What is the final outcome between you as it and this person? Are they going to go to prison? Okay. <laughs> um, what's going to happen here? Should cancers be concerned about anything? We will find that out in the extended. All right. But let's go ahead and pull a few Oracle future predictive just to see what is going to be popping off in that extended here. So let's see. Tell us about cancer and cancer's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Oh, remember I hurt my arm, so it's very hard for me to reach with that arm. It's getting more and more difficult for me to move my arms around you guys as the <laughs> evening goes. Oh. I did it to myself. It's okay. All right. Future predictive oracle for cancers. My spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer. Okay. So this is just a sneak peek of what we are going to be seeing in this extended here. Man holding a coin, number 43. Somebody could be 43 years old. There's somebody who's definitely pining for you or someone who's definitely holding on to hope that things are going, they're going to be able to build with you. This person wants to express their love, but they're waiting. <clears throat> There's an energy of this person waiting. Four plus three is seven. There's an energy of this person wanting to sow one big seed in hopes that they'll have an opportunity for more. So take it how it resonates. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. The number seven resonating. This is our cancers here. Um, but with that release negativity, there's an energy of needing to let go of something that is not serving you that double energy twice plus we got addict so you know and that eight of swords is also an energy of that as well and we have angel light here spiritual or religious community join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth that takes me all the way back here to this soul coven card that we had in the first part one of the reading and i can mess all the cards up now because we're getting ready to go to an extended but look your your coven or your soul family this is this angel light oh i love the name angel or angela spiritual or religious community Join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. This is your soul family. They are going to help you to increase your spiritual growth. They're going to help you put your boundaries in place. Remember, we talked about this. We talked about having and setting those boundaries. This is a gorgeous reading, by the way. Um, so yeah, so we have that. 
We also have number nine, cut away what is no longer needed for you. Didn't I just freaking say that? I literally just said it. I just said this. Cut away what is no longer needed for you. And look at this. Look at the broken tree branch. You guys, I'm done. Let me get that card right now so you don't say that I'm full of shit because I'm not. O-M-G. I love it when this happens to me. Look, does that not look like the same freaking tree with the broken branch? I am done. Look at this. It's exactly the same. There's even... Oh my goodness. There's even a bird perched on this tree and there's a bird on this one. Ooh, spirit come through. Spirit come through. And the broken branch is the one that's dead. This one has leaves growing on it, fruit, right? This one is still connected to the source, but this branch is a dead branch. It's not getting nutrients like it needs to. So you need to cut it off at the point in which it is dead. Oh my God. Get your messages, Oracle. So you're getting ready to cut something out. It's not needed. It's not helping. It's not wanted. Mm -mm -mm. It's not me. Wow. Y'all. And it's going backwards. Why is this going in backwards numbers? Because we have number nine here. Okay. And then we have number eight. I literally cannot right now with this. We also have seven. Four plus three is seven. I just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Lastly, we have number 36, Distant Horizons. So something, and this is future predictive. This is future predictive. And that's what this refers to, something that hasn't happened yet or it's going to be happening in the, the distant future. It's out a ways. It's going to be a... a it's going to be a little bit before this happens fully. So maybe with three plus six is nine and then cutting away what is no longer needed for you in the distant future. So I feel like, you know, this is going to be happening in the future. So maybe you may stick around with this person, even though it's not serving you. There's the energy of this person sticking around for a while literally sticking around. That's funny. And then it's going to get cut off once this person decides that, guess what? This isn't me. I don't, I don't deserve this. I don't belong in this situation any longer. And they're going to walk away. Broken branch, heartache. And this person is going to be hurting, holding a coin, hoping that you'll come back and forgive them, but um, it may be too far gone, okay? Um, but we are going to take things into an extended, and we'll ask all those questions and then some. I feel like I need to do a Cancer versus All 12 at the end of the extended, which is I am going to do a quickie, so we will run through all 12 signs at the end of the extended. All extendeds are $11.11. The link is below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you go watch part one if you missed out. It is going to resonate. I am certain if this resonated, part one is a banger. I love you guys and I'll see you in the extended in just a minute. Bye.